I remember you a little bit. Yeah. yeah Come I back. Talk, oh, what's up? Before. Hey, right. what's up? Yeah. What's good? Just Nothing, just working. Talking. Yeah, working and talking. Chilling like villains. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Oh, yeah. that's good though. Yeah. How's work, man? Uh, it's been busy. Is it busy here? Yeah. Does people are commit a lot of crimes? Yeah, well, it's just, it's like not just crimes, it's like you get traffic collisions. You know what? I'm not trying to be mean to the people that live here, but I'm from other town. I was like, man, he, uh -huh. I think he kind of assumed it, but my girlfriend, it's from here. Uh -huh. But what we hear from uh, from here is that there's a lot of drug drugs here and drug dealings. Is that true? Yeah, there's, I mean, but everywhere you go, but heroin's picked up huge here. It's picked up, huh? Yeah. Because we hear a lot of, um, where I'm from, we hear a lot of the people from here like meth a lot. Meth has always been here. No, I've no, been, but I mean, that's what years. they're known. In other towns, that's what Paso Roble is known for, yeah. like a lot of meth addicts and, and people that grow weed. Yeah, well, the um, weed, I, yeah, I, the weed's still there. Meth has meth has been here. I've been here twenty years. Cause every town has their own like. I think some... Santa Barbara, you'll see where they're gonna see a lot of marijuana stuff going on. They deal with it a lot cause of the climate. But, oh, it's good climate to grow that thing there. But the heroin is what's ridiculous here. For real? Yeah, it just blew up here and the fentanyl here, and now we're having a lot of ODs. What was the other one? Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Oh, so, yeah, you gotta be careful right with that. Yeah, you gotta well, be careful with that. Yeah, cause um, I went to a training, cause I mean I'm a safety supervisor, but. Mm -hmm. I never did safety. Well, mm -hmm. kind of, I did an internship, but I never took the job. Yeah. And they actually trained you for all that. Even though, like a little amount, if you touch it, you can go boom. Yep. I, we've so, had officers that are not sure what it is. And open they, it up, lofts up, and immediately they go into OD. And, so we, oh. we carry Narcan for everybody. Narcan, huh? Yeah. We, they, we carry Narcan for us, too. They used to so. give us Narcan. I think I still have one Narcan. Um, yeah. From from back in the day, something's been since like Keep two years. You never know. Yeah. For it, it, work, it works great, but the problem is you don't get medical attention. So Narcan only works for a certain amount of time, and then yeah. it depending on how much opiates you have in your you system. You gotta apply more. You, yeah, you gotta apply yep. more, or at least go to a hospital where they can flush it out of your system. So that way, because you can use Narcan, feel fine, and then 20 minutes later, you're that, gonna yeah, you go back yeah. into OD. Yeah. And, so, wow. so it's one of the. Yeah, it's kind of a dangerous stuff, but I mean, we're having a lot of ODs, a lot of deaths. Here? Yeah, and we're, we're getting a lot of saves from the, the department because we carry the Narcan now. So we get there a lot of times faster than the fire department or medic or parents. You apply there. that thing, yeah, because so it goes right. We get them to come back and basically maintain yeah. them until the fire department or medics and that, get there. That's what, people, that, that's what people don't see sometimes, that sometimes you guys there pull up before the fire department or the paramedics, yeah. and you guys are like the first responders there to actually get to apply medical aid. Medical yeah. aid, yeah, make it, that's it. Yeah, so I mean, that's what yeah. people don't see. I mean, it's well, like I remember him. I remember you too from last time. My man, my man. <laughs> there you go. I filmed it too last time. Yeah, we're at. And over there, back there, but this is this is the funny part. Well, I consider it funny because we were already done. Mm -hmm. And when we were doing the audit, the the vehicle was just pulled up like like crossing the side, the, the, the driveway. Mm -hmm. And he had the doors open. So um, we, were, we were still filming. The car was still there, was still there, was still there. So when we walked, there was no one outside. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, we, you know, we take a look at the car, you know what's going on here, it's so stolen or something. And I, we even got on by the camera that we never went intentionally try to go and just film the hell out of it because we were done. Right. We we're about to leave. And then um, the guy comes out and he starts saying that we were stealing the car. And we were actually going to go call the cops ourselves to let him know that there was just a car just crossed because you don't know if someone just got, got a car stolen and they just park yeah. it like whatever because that's what happens. Yeah, I know. That's what happens. They get stumped here all the time. And they just dumped it. Mm -hmm. So they come out and they're like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, and, and then he sees my camera and then you're in public property. And they were like, no, whoa, like we're mm -hmm. trying to do a good deed here right. that this happened. And he was still, he, we try to tell him this is the first time I'm in audit. We actually told him, he's like, no, no, no. And then he called you, you guys. You tell him bad guys usually that are stealing cars that's what we, don't usually have a camera in their hand. <laughs> that's what I thought. Well, I think. Look at me steal this car. You know what? I camera. think I actually told him that because I'm like, I mean. <laughs> We're not the type of people who's gonna go into private property right, right. filming ourselves. We know you Because my, my, my body camera, it's even films 30 seconds even before I hit record. Right, so is ours. Yeah. Oh, you, you're too? So my, mine is the same way, so. We just don't get audio. Oh, yeah. So we'll get the video 30 seconds 30 prior, seconds before. Mine is 30 seconds be prior too, yeah. so that, that's how I have it set up because say, same thing for my safety and the other people's safety and in case something happens and you know, you never know in this day and age. Yep, yep. Yeah, I hear you. But man, I, that's cool. I recommend everybody. I like, I still, I, I looked up those um, body cameras, mm -hmm. but they don't sell them to regular citizens. Well, and they're, well, they don't do them anymore no, either. They don't make them anymore. They're, they're going out. We got to go buy new ones now. 
For real? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's because messed up. You can't find parts, you can't find batteries, you can't find it. So Motorola went to a complete separate. Oh, they're there. So we've only had these for what, four years? Can I get it? Can I just get a quick shot off of it? Sure. I think even that long, but. Wow, yeah, that, I, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. No, they're good, they rotate. Yeah. All stuff. I try looking them up and I couldn't, probably because, I mean, it's connected to a radio. Like mine yeah. has mine has GPS too. Yeah, you don't have to have it. This one does the radio, but you don't have to have it do the radio. You can have it no? connected and just filming. Oh. Yeah, we, we can have it without the radio, but it also has our control. But I, I'd rather have it that way. So we have our control here to actually operate a radio. Plus, it has the mics in it. Wow. Uh, the mics that we have. Are They're making the guns too with the camera as well. I don't know if you've seen those ones. It has them on the bottom right here. Yeah. I've seen those tasers with the... with the. Them. Yeah, the tasers. Have, I know the tasers, tasers have a video camera on it too. Yeah, because I wanted to get one of those with the cameras, but it was like over two grand, I think, 25, 2500. Because the one I have... Because I got carry a citizen version taser, yeah, yeah. and then the one I have um, cost me like 900 bucks. Uh -huh. This one's 900 bucks, and I carry extra cartridges just in case one fills. You know, like load and reload. Right. And I mean, I, I I go to the shooting range a lot, so mm -hmm. I, I get to practice a lot. I don't go to like the fields and shoot. You know, that's not my thing. But I go to the shooting range a lot, and I like to shoot. You know, practice make, makes a master. And but and yeah, it's, and it's a perishable skill. I'm a so. cover up, you know, so that way. Right. Yeah. It's, a, <laughs> yeah. it's a perishable skill too, so you don't yeah. use it all. It goes all the time. Even though if you don't use it, but I mean, you still gotta. No, but if you don't practice with it, you, you don't practice. You're gonna you're gonna lose, gonna the, lose the practice. Memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but so. where are you guys going next after this? Whatever they send us to. Really? <laughs> so right now we're just talking shop until they call us in the next one. Jeez. So, but yeah, no, it's just been. It's steady here. I mean, it's up and down. Like, we'll go dead for hours, and then all of a sudden, we'll go boom, 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 boom. Call after call after call. After call. Yeah. And then it'll die off again. So. Well, what can I say? It's kind of cool, though. There, there ain't not much crimes here. No, it's definitely not as bad as the valley. It's not bad as uh, King City and, oh, yeah. and, and Santa Maria. So, I mean, we have it. We have it pretty good as in that level, but we, okay. still, we still have enough to keep us Different busy. Kind of busy. Yeah, we, mm. we, we still have enough to keep us busy, and there's enough violent crime to keep us busy here, but it's just not as often. Is there a lot of death, like like people killing each other? Uh, that, that goes in spurts, too. Every now and then our local gangs or even rival outside gangs will come in and do stuff, and they'll have, they'll have their beef, and then things will either die off not people dying but like it'll die off the beef will drop down or certain yeah because they want to get the beef off you yeah, know they want to rub it off people get arrested that had the beef and then they go to jail and they kind of like it's kind of yeah. pattern. So, hey believe me even between us sometimes there's like a little bit be little bit of beef for what for the things we do like first amendment others you know oh, like you guys sometimes there is man there's well, people depends on what town you go to you know like i know what you're doing and i talk to you you know and that's why i just making sure they understand yeah no no i mean in between sure us them. like the first amendment others yeah. with oh, others with otter, each other there there there's oh, some you guys yeah there there there's a there's a rivality here like you know they don't like each other or because they get more views uh you try so how does it work because i have i mean i've seen the youtube stuff but i've never seen like what between you guys go around certain areas or how do you guys it just how do you not go on someone else's turf per se you know like is there something like that or you go wherever you want me first of all i mean I, i'm well advised by my lawyer he mm -hmm. pretty much tells me we use the page i was telling i think the other officer last time um where we look up the contracts on different cities mm -hmm. so once they have a contract with the department of justice department of defense the city the state the federal so that's where we go and record and for example oh, okay. you know i told you that they have a yeah, city yeah. contract garbage over there contract, yeah. a garbage contract for the city you know they're picking up and they gotta pay their cut to the city not not like like low key you know but they gotta pay their yeah. their their price to be operating right. yeah. so and then there's others for example the company back there that we filmed they have a huge contract with the department of defense they're like building like it might sound like ridiculous just a little part that they're they're building but they they're making millions off of it mm -hmm. i think it was like for rocket ships or something if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. like like rockets like the bottom parts or something like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so they're building uh, that and i mean i'll get it because they get the memorandum that they're not supposed to allow their employees to take pictures because you don't know employees, they, they, they might take a picture of the parts that they're building and they might want to sell it to Saudi Arabia, to China, to North Korea. And there is people like that, they will, they will betray our country over money. Right. So that's, I, I get their fear and that's what I, I try to film, but when I film stuff like that, I try not to post it. Because of the same reason, oh, you're on the, getting a call. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, because call. of the same reason, because I don't want our national safety to be jeopardized because of my video. Mm. That's me. 
Others can do it. Others can take a video just to prove that we're doing that. But me, I'm not gonna jeopardize the national safety of my country. Yeah, that's good. I'll tell you straight up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, good. I go film, but I will never post like stuff like that just for the heck of it. Well, I, I laugh because I'm like, why people get all worried about cameras? I mean, yeah, I'm a little bit different because I'm constantly on camera all day long, anyways. Yeah. So, and the way today's society is, is like there's cameras everywhere. So. It's hey, like, I used to, I used to tell I used to ask the uh, bad guys too. Um, about why were they taking pictures on my on my house too? The who? With the bank? The bank goes and takes pictures of your, of your house. Bank goes to your house? Yeah, banks. Okay. Like the banks, know, you know, like, when you, so they go and take pictures of your house for updates and stuff like oh, that. So we used to, I used to come out to him and be like, hey, why are you taking pictures of my house? <laughs> and now that I do this, I'm like, damn, I made myself seem like an idiot, you know, because I went up to them as the same way that people come up to me. So that's why uh, I, I kind of not go off on people. I don't know if you watch my videos from the other spots that we did here. I try not to be rude to people because I got to understand the point of view as well. Yeah, no, it yeah. makes sense. And yeah. others, and yeah. honestly, once we come out and talk to these people and tell them what's going on and what they're doing, they come down. They come down. Calm down, and they're just yeah. like, yeah, okay. because there's others that do this that they'll they'll get their camera touched like that and they'll just praise the hell out of people. Yeah. And personally, I've been beat up and I still haven't, haven't even used my pepper spray. Yeah. Well, I, that's I think, me. I think once people understand what's going on, then they they're come just down. Kind of like whatever. After yeah. We, especially after we explain, it's like, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's like they're they know their rights, they know and that's why they're left too. You know, gonna, they're not going to impose their rights on you know, or, or like try to push the, the yeah, they, that they're, there's too much you guys have to lose to even try to push that. And them too, I don't want to lose, I don't want to get arrested and go to court and pay a lawyer to prove that I'm right. that I'm right, and then I gotta sue them, and it's all a bunch of paperwork that I want to avoid. Right. The thing is, education, nah, not suing and anything, anybody can sue anybody, but. Right. Right. But right, stay California. safe though. Yes, sir. All right, stay safe. Thank All you so right. much on that. Thank you. All right, Casey Cameron, boy, he was cool.